Hello, good morning. How are you today? Talking about kids over here and how much we love them. Um, so, hi everyone. It's so nice to see you after two weeks of being away. I miss you guys, although it's all virtual, but I do miss you and I miss my Saturday classes and my lunch classes and NXPT flow and sweating together and high-fiving each other and all the good stuff. So I hope you're still practicing all of that at home. Yesterday I was super stuck when I was thinking about the intention for today's practice. It took me a couple of hours just flipping through pages of old practices that I had and trying to come up with something until I saw Recess, um, the new um, lunch break uh, segment that they have for kids. And I saw the kids playing around freely and everyone laughing. And I remembered how whenever I walk in a park, I like to stop and swing with the kids and play on the slides. And I'm very inspired by how playful they are. They're just running wild. They don't pay attention to who's watching 99% of the time. They're free. They say what they feel and what they want. And they have a lot of power and fearlessness and truthfulness in the way that they live. So today's theme for practice is playfulness. So with that being said, please come into Balasana or, or child's pose. Place your hand or stretch your hands nice and long on your mat. Bring your toes to touch and send your hips as low as you can towards your feet. Place your forehead on the mat and rock your forehead from side to side. Keep your elbows off the mat so you can have an activated child's pose. We're gonna do a few breathing, few breathing exercises. So inhale through your nose to the count of four. Hold your breath to the count of four. And open mouth, exhale, sigh it all out. Now inhale again to the count of four. Hold your breath to the count of four. And open mouth, exhale to the count of four. One more time, inhale, fill up your lungs all the way. And when you fill them up all the way, take an extra sip of air. Hold your breath to the count of four. And open mouth, exhale to the count of four. Now seal your lips and begin your ujjayi breath, your breath of victory or fire. We seal our lips and we breathe, sending our, the air to the back of our neck, making a scratchy sound like you do when you fog up a mirror. The reason we use this breath in yoga, besides it adding fire or heat to our bodies, is because whenever we're nervous or we're scared or anxious, we tend to have very shallow breaths. Or even when we're moving a lot, doing any ab work or anything that's tiring, if you notice, sometimes you will hold your breath. This type of breathing, this loud breathing, will remind you to stay with your breath, with your inhales and your exhales. So start practicing that breath of fire. Seal your lips, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your nose, and enjoy the fun, happy music in the background. I tried to select the happiest playlist I could in the shortest amount of time. Now on your next inhale, come up to your tabletop position. Stack your shoulders right above your hands and your hips right above your knees. Let's do a few cat and cows here. You want to keep a tiny bend in your elbows. Inhale into cow, tilt your pelvis up, look up to the sky, send your chest down. And exhale, curl your spine, come into a scared cat, look at your belly button. Inhale, come back into cow. We want to warm up our spine since we use it most in all the practice. And exhale into your cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale into your cat. 
Now bring your fingers to the outside, to the right and left of your mat. So your right fingers are going to be pointing to the right and your left fingers to the left. And rock from side to side to get a good stretch in your wrists. We don't pay attention to all the little details in the, our bodies, but today we're going to give them some extra love and attention. Point your fingers towards you and rock back and forth to massage them in a different way. We're going to do a tiny little balancing exercise today, so we want our wrists nice, flexible, and strong. Now bring them back to neutral, facing forward. Come back to neutral in your tabletop. Extend your right arm nice and long and your left leg nice and long behind you. Just on the level of your hips. Now, after you find your balance here, we're going to do a lateral movement. Push your arm, your right arm, all the way to the right and your left leg all the way to the left. This is to activate our obliques. For those of you who haven't done the NXPT exercise, come back to center. And now curl your spine and connect your elbow to your knee. Inhale, extend. Come back to your lateral movement. Come back to center. And connect your elbow with your knee. Extend again. Lateral movement. If it feels weird, that's good. Weird is good. We're going to play today with all the weird stuff. Connect your elbow with your knee. Now extend. And this time I want you to bend your knee, bringing your foot as close as possible to your glutes. For those of you who can reach back, grab onto your foot and just push it down towards your glute. Don't extend it just yet. We just want to open up our quads. Every stretch feels so juicy right now and so needed. Now push your foot into your palm. Feel a good extension in your hip and your shoulder. Just open up as much as you need to. Now very gently release and bring it down back to neutral. Take a little moment here to come back to your breath. Now let's do it on the other side. Extend your left arm and your right leg. Let's do a lateral movement here. You wanna push your left arm towards the left, your right leg towards the right. Come back to center. Bring your elbow to your knee. Curl your spine when you do this so you can feel your core and activate it. Extend, lateral movement. Come back to center and connect your elbow to your knee. Inhale, extend. Lateral movement, I feel like I'm on the beach with the song. Extend again, bring your knee to your elbow. Now extend, bend your right knee. Bring it as close as possible to your glute, grab onto it if possible. If you can, just keep your knee bent, that's totally fine. Push your foot into your knee while raising your knee higher to get that good opening in your quad. Now push your foot into your palm and open up to the side. Feel your left shoulder open, your hip. And don't forget, if you fall out, laugh at yourself and come back and play with us. And release your foot gently and bring it down. Take a nice breath, inhale. Come back to child's pose just for a tiny little moment. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Now push yourself up to your tabletop. Tuck your toes in. Take an inhale and shoot your hips up to the sky to your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, right and left. Send your chest as close as possible to your thighs. Send your gaze towards your knees to elongate your neck. Feel a nice stretch in your entire body. I kind of don't even want to get out of my downward facing dog because it feels so good right now. Tuck your shoulder blades in. 
Keep a tiny bend in your knees if you need that to elongate your spine. The most important thing is your spine here, more so than your heels touching the earth. Now look up at your hands. Step right behind your palms. And now we're gonna do a reverse ragdoll. So you can bring, you can scoot your feet closer to one another. Give yourself a nice hug. Hug your legs from behind. And dip your head as close as possible towards your knees. Feel those hamstrings. Thank you for this movement. I have very tight hamstrings, so this feels like heaven to me. I hope it does for you too. Now release your mind. And very slowly, very slowly, you have 24 vertebrates. Count to 24 as you're coming up. As slow as possible. Take your time as you come up. Curl your spine as you come up to feel the stretch. Come up to standing, roll your shoulders back and all the way down. Again, roll them up and all the way to the back. One more time, up and all the way to the back. Now make a giant circle like you're tracing a full moon with your arms. And exhale to your samastitihi, standing at attention, palms at heart center. We're going to set our intention for today in case you haven't been with us from the beginning. Today's intention is to be playful. Because in life, the people that are most successful are those who are happiest. Not those who have the best job or have the most money or the biggest house. Just those who are truly happy. And those who are truly happy are people who can play in life and make light of things when things are tough. So today, all I want you to do is laugh and play with us through this flow. So the first thing we're going to do to play is we're going to try to close our eyes in our sun A. You don't have to do it the first time around, but at the second, third time, I would like you to try to close your eyes. For this time, you can try to keep them open or closed. So inhale all the way up to your mountain pose. Make a giant circle as you come up to mountain. Rock forward and back to feel all four corners of your feet. Lift your toes and press them down nice and gentle onto your mat. Grip your mat so you can feel your toes on the mat. I know we use our feet without really paying attention to all the details. Tuck your shoulder blades in to move your shoulders away from your ears and tuck your tailbone and send your belly towards your spine to activate your core. Keep a tiny bend in your knees. Close your eyes with me for a moment. And imagine yourself on your favorite hike. I know Jeanette is gonna appreciate this very much. Imagine yourself on a beautiful high mountain top with greenery around you, flowers and birds, hummingbirds everywhere. Or maybe it was snowy on your favorite mountain. Whatever it is, take a nice inhale, fill your lungs with oxygen and joy and sunshine. And swan dive all the way down to forward fold. Make a big circle with your arms and come fold your upper body over your lower body. Just release everything into the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine, keep your neck nice and long, place your hands on your thighs lightly or your shins. And exhale, tuck round and curl, come into a tiny little ball, come onto your tippy toes, come into a tiny ball and connect your forehead with your knees. Now let's try to flow this with our eyes closed, fill your heart and your mind with imagination. Send your heels down, inhale, halfway lift, straight, strong spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up with a big circle to your mountain pose. Feel, smell those flowers, see those birds, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift with a strong, straight spine. Exhale, tuck round and curl. Connect your forehead to your knees. Come into the tiniest ball that you can come into. Send your knees to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, straight, strong spine. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, make a giant circle. Come all the way up to your mountain pose. Feel whatever it is that you've been feeling in your mountain. Smile, giggle, and swan dive all the way down to your forward fold. Swan dive just means making a big circle with your arms, like kids like to exaggerate movements. We're gonna exaggerate ours today. Inhale, halfway lift, strong straight spine. Exhale, tuck, round, and curl. Come into a tiny little ball. Now send your heel down. You can flutter your eyes open. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale all the way up to your mountain pose. And exhale, samasutihi. Maybe close your eyes for a moment and remember all of the cuteness that we just experienced together. All the happy thoughts, all the happy things that your mind allowed you to see. Fill your chest with those happy thoughts and those happy things and flutter your eyes open and let's flow our sun be. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Step back into your high plank with your elbows as close as possible to your body. Come all the way down to your low plank. Untuck your toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Tuck your toes in and exhale, downward facing dog. Now for those of you who find Chaturanga Dandasana or high to low plank a little difficult on the body, it's okay to come onto your knees or just go from high plank down to downward facing dog. I have a little bit of an injury, my, not injury, but it's my left shoulder is a little tight, so I've been feeling how brutal it can be. So please skip it. Remember, children stop when they don't feel like playing anymore. Come into your child's pose whenever you want to do so. You have that freedom. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, hop to the top of your mat or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees very generously. Sit in your imaginary chair and inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Send your palms facing upwards. Sam, could you please... Um, silence my phone for me. <laughs> Sorry, my playfulness made me forget to silence my phone. Palms facing up to the sky. Look down at your feet. Make sure that you can wiggle your toes. If you can't see your feet, then sit a little back. Send your booty a little more back to your mat. I'm totally not ashamed of this moment, by the way. I am human and this happens. So from here, we're gonna come up to one-legged mountain. Bring your ground down to your right foot and inhale one-legged Tadasana or one-legged mountain. Bring your left knee high. Stretch it out, extend it as far as you can and bring it back towards your body. Exhale, send your foot all the way back until you reach your crescent lunge. This is a balancing act, enjoy it. If you fall, laugh and come right into crescent lunge. Make sure that your heel is right above, your back heel is right above your toes. Bend your front knee to 90 degrees. Send your shoulder blades away from your ears, upper body like it is in mountain. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, warrior two, pivot your back foot to meet the short edges of your mat. Extend your arms nice and long. Now imagine someone is doing a tug of war with your body. You're not gonna go forward or back. You wanna stack your body, your upper body, right above your hips. And extend your arms nice and long. Your drishti or your point of focus is gonna be at your front fingertips. Now straighten your front knee. Inhale, reach all the way forward. And exhale, triangle pose. Tick tock your arms six and 12. This feels so good in my right leg. Inhale, reverse triangle, high five the back room with your right palm. Push your hips a little forward to get a good stretch in your left leg. Your left inner thigh should feel really nice right now. 
and exhale your palms down around your foot to low lunge. Plant, press your palms on the mat and inhale three like a dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, hop or walk to the top of your mat. Good job, Sam, nice hops. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees generously and come into your nice chair pose, your imaginary throne. Wear your crown, do whatever it is that you want. Sit a little deeper if you want to feel your glutes and tighten up that area, make it nice and beautiful. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, palms facing up. Now ground down to your left foot. Inhale, one leg at the dasana, bring your not right knee up. Extend your right leg, bring it back towards your body, and send it all the way back until you reach your crescent lunge. Life is a balancing act, said Dr. Seuss, and it sure is, so we're gonna do a lot of our balancing. Bend your front knee to 90 degrees. Your left heel is, your right heel, sorry, is right above your toes. Inhale in your crescent. Exhale, pivot your back foot, come into your warrior two. Nice and strong warrior. If you wanna imagine yourself Mulan or whoever your favorite warrior was, please feel free to do so. Your drishti or your point of focus is at your front fingertips. Straighten your front knee. Inhale, extend your body all the way forward. And exhale, tick-tock your arms, six and 12 to triangle pose. You can send your gaze up to your hand up high, but if it's that's too much stress on your neck, you can just look down, that's fine. Now inhale, reverse triangle, push your hips forward and inhale your left arm high, high five the back room with your left palm. Feel the stretch on the inside of your right side. Now cartwheel your arms all the way down and come into high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog and exhale, downward facing dog. That was our sun B. We're gonna flow that with tiny little bit of changes. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, hop or walk between your palms. Just step right between them. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees generously and inhale to your chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Ground down through your right foot. Inhale, one leg at the dasana. Now listen for the change. You're gonna come into a figure four. So bring your palms in front of your heart and sit in your figure four as deep as you can. Some of you, you might not wanna get out of this because it feels so good after today's beautiful workouts. Inhale, send your right knee high. And exhale, send it all the way back until you reach your crescent lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extend your right, arm, right knee. I love this song. Send your arms forward. Tick tock your arms, six and 12 to triangle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, high to low plank. Oh, sorry. Exhale, place your palms on the mat. Inhale, your left, right leg high. Exhale it down to downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, hop or walk between your palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees generously and inhale to your chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Ground down through your left foot. Inhale, one-legged tadasana, one-legged mountain pose, right knee high. Exhale, figure four on the side. Sit nice, deep, and juicy. Oh, yes. Inhale, one leg at the dasana. Exhale, send it all the way back until you reach your crescent lunge. Beautiful slowness, Sam. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, to your warrior two. 
Straighten your front knee. Inhale, extend your arms forward. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, walk or hop between your palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees generously and inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Ground down through your right foot. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana. Tadasana just means mountain pose, but it's in Sanskrit, a different language. So welcome to the language of yoga. Exhale, figure four. Sit deep and nice and juicy. Inhale, up to one-legged mountain. Exhale, send your foot all the way back until you reach your crescent lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten your front knee, extend your arms forward, and exhale, triangle pose. That's the way in. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, pivot your, put your arms, place them around your foot, and inhale, three-legged dog. Now, instead of putting it down, we're gonna go into wild things. So step your right foot on the outside of your left foot, Bring your chest to the sky, extend your right arm nice and long. Keep your right knee bent while extending your left leg nice and long and come into the sharp or the knife edges of your left foot. Open your chest to the sky. Wild thing is playful, so if it feels weird, just adjust your feet, play with it, make it feel good, and come back into three-legged dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, bring it down to downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, hop or walk between your palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, left side. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Ground down to your left foot. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, right knee high. Exhale, figure four, sit nice and deep. Inhale, back to one-legged mountain. Exhale, send your foot all the way back until you reach your crescent lunge. Inhale to your crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten your front knee. Inhale, extend your arms forward. And exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, place your palms around your foot and inhale it to three-legged dog, left leg high. We're gonna do wild thing on this side. So step your foot all the way down, lift your chest high, extend your right leg and your left arm and just open up your chest to the sky. Send your hips as high as you can and just let your neck fall back and your heart shine towards the sky like a little kid playing in the yard. Although if we found them like this, we would be a little worried. Bring your palm down, inhale, three-legged dog and exhale, downward facing dog. Good job for whoever played with us. Bring your knees down and come into your child's pose for a moment. Bring your chest down. We're gonna do one full breath here, but just one. Take a nice inhale through your nose. And open mouth, exhale, release all the stale energy from your body. Now seal your lips, inhale, all the energizing breath and the new oxygen into your cells. Now come up to tabletop, tuck your toes in, and exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look between your palms. Exhale, hop or walk between your palms. I love it. Every time she hops like that, I'm like, this is awesome. So Sam is like the example of a baby that we need in this room. Inhale to your chair pose. 
Now bring your palms to heart center to prayer. We're gonna do a prayer twist. So bring, connect your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Look down at your knees. Make sure that your knees are aligned. Every twist you do with your spine increases or betters or boosts your immunity. So these are really good for your immunity, which is something we always want to improve. Besides flexibility and yoga for sanity is also really great in case you guys haven't noticed. Now, instead of coming out of this prayer pose, I want you to sink your hips as low as you can towards the earth, place your palms onto the ground on the side of your body. Now we're gonna play. I'm gonna tilt to this side so you can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna go into side crow. This is completely playful. Bring some pillows, place them in front of you. We could also use this, these pillows at the end of the practice. So just bring the pillows, place them in front of you just in case you're worried um, to fall. Uh, bend your elbows as much as you can. Place your hip over your elbow and look forward. If there's a pillow underneath you, you might feel less scared and lift your legs. Try to wrap your legs together. Your core is doing most of the work and the rest of it is balance. Come back onto your feet. You can see some beautiful side crows behind me. I have the best team, always showing off the best exercises. And when you're done, just come back and step back into your downward facing dog. Thank you so much, guys. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Step your right foot on the outside of your right palm. Bring your left knee down. Now, instead of coming down, I want you to stay nice and strong. Keep your head long and your back long in your runner's lunge. Now, for those of you who can, maybe bend your back knee. Grab onto your foot for half lizard. You can come in to, onto your, the knife edge of your right foot if that feels good for a nice opening and a nice twist. You don't need to, but you can. Or go down to your elbow like Sam did. If you want a deeper stretch, oof, that feels fantastical. Jeanette is agreeing. If your kids want to try half lizard, I'm sure they can do an amazing job as well. Release your foot, press both your palms on the mat and send your right foot to meet the left. Come into your high plank pose. And from high plank, I want you to come all the way down to your tummy. Once you reach your tummy, extend your arms nice and long onto your sides. Move your hips and place your palms underneath you. For, so your palms are gonna come underneath you like this until your pinkies touch. So you're sitting onto your palms. Now keep your chin in the center of your mat. And on your next inhale, lift your right leg high. Send it as high as you can, a little higher. Strengthen those hamstrings that I'm sure are already strong and bring it down. Now your left leg, send it a little higher, even a little higher. Fire up those hamstrings and send it down. Now scoot your hands a little closer to one another. Make sure you can put a tiny bend in your elbows Exhale all the stale air out of your body and inhale both feet up. And exhale everything down. Remove your hands from underneath you. Bring your palms to your sides. Exhale everything out of your body. Maybe take a nice inhale and a long exhale here first and then come into full locust. Lift everything off the earth. 
Now, if you wanna stretch your arms forwards and do a little swim to imagine yourself at the beach, please do so. This was Sam's idea from yesterday. <laughs> we're at the beach, this is a surfboard, and we're enjoying ourselves like kids do. Now, send your arms back and place your right cheek on the mat. Just relax here for a few moments. Don't we all wish that we had the imagination of kids and we didn't feel silly when we do things like this? Stayed playful and light throughout our lives. Laugh at the hard times and the good times and all the times. Bring your chin to center. Press your palms underneath you and push yourself up strongly. Back to your high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet for a moment. Inhale, look between your palms. And exhale, hop or walk between your palms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bring your palms together at your heart center, at prayer, and connect your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. The more you push your palms into one another, the more you can feel the twist in your spine. Look down at your knees, make sure they're aligned. Sit a little deeper if you can or if you want to. If you don't, just do whatever feels good. Make sure you pull your stomach away from your thighs. Remember, this is great for your immunity, but also just really feels good in our back. For those who sit a lot, it's really great too. Now sit as deep as you can, as low as you can, and press your palms onto the ground. We're gonna do half crow on this side, or side crow. So you want to send your hips a little up, bend your elbows, and just create a shelf with your elbows. Keep looking forward, put your pillows underneath you if need be, and just extend your arms nice, your legs nice and long. Take your time going into it, take your time coming out of it. If you want to skip it all together, do whatever feels good for you and meet me in your downward facing dog whenever you are done. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, bring it through to runner's lunge on the left side. Place your left foot on the outside of your left palm. Keep your back nice and straight. Yesterday, I did a lot of anatomy readings to understand my body more and also guide you through a practice that could release the tension from our hips because that's where we hold most tension, I read. And so this is great for a muscle like your psoas muscle, just right here, which is a muscle that's apparently really hard to stretch out. If you want a deeper stretch, bend that knee, come into half lizard. I usually just grab it with both arms, but if you want to keep your right arm down, come into the knife edge of your left foot if you want a nice twist. Just bring your foot as close as possible to your glute. I don't know if any of you noticed, but I created a playlist full of as many cartoon sounds as possible. <laughs> especially from the movie Up, which is one of my favorites until today. Place your palms on the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, send your left leg high. And exhale, downward facing dog. Shift your weight forward to high plank. And exhale, high to low plank, Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon on the right side. Let's release some more tension from our hips. Place your right knee on the right edge of your mat. You wanna scooch your shin up to meet the short edges or the top of your mat. 
If you can't go all the way to the top, that's fine. Bring it as close as you can. Just make sure that both hips are sitting onto your mat. Look back at your left leg. Make sure it's nice and long behind you. You don't want it going to the right or the left. And you can stay here for your pigeon or come into sleeping pigeon and bring your forehead all the way down to the mat for a nice deeper stretch. One of my favorite artists and creative people of all time is Charlie Chaplin. And he said that the most successful people are those who know how to take their, plain, their pain and play with it. your mat let your hips stay closer and closer as you inhale and exhale don't forget your ujjayi breath keep your breath nice and long now come up to your palms they don't want to get out of half pigeon i mean sleeping pigeon that's okay we just want to fall asleep tuck your back toes in Inhale, three-legged dog, send your right leg high, bend your knee, make giant circles with your knee, as giant as you can, and exhale, bring your right foot down, inhale, your left leg nice and high, exhale, half pigeon on the left side, bring your left knee on the left edge of your mat, scooch your shin all the way to the top, Keep your foot nice and flex, your top foot nice and nice and flex. Look back at your right leg. Make sure it's nice and long behind you. You can stay here, or if you'd like to sleep for a minute, come all the way down to your forehead to sleep in pigeon. Push yourself up if you're in sleeping pigeon. Place your palms onto your mat. Tuck your back toes in and inhale, three-legged dog. Send your right, left leg nice and high. Bend your knee, make giant circles with your knee. Release those hips and exhale, downward facing dog. Now give me a thousand push-ups, I'm just kidding. Bring your knees to your mat and sit back. We are done with our flows and our stretches. I hope you feel nice, stretchy, flexible everywhere. Untuck your feet and extend them nice and long in front of you. Now we're gonna do a seated forward fold. So inhale your arms high and exhale. Bring your chest as close as possible to your knees. Grab onto your feet or with your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes. And if you want to help your digestive system or boost it, bend your knees and connect your forehead to your knees. You'll also feel it in your hamstrings. As a person with tight hamstrings, like I said, this feels fantabulous. Inhale, come up. And exhale, come all the way down to your back. Now come into Supta Vada Kanasana. You want to bring your knees out wide, bring your feet to touch like an open book. If this feels uncomfortable, you can place a pillow under each knee. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your stomach, and just breathe. Notice how your breath flows through you, your inhales and your exhales effortlessly.
hug your knees into your chest. Bring your forehead towards your knees. Give yourself a giant hug, the biggest hug you've given yourself all day or all week. Kiss your knees. Thank yourself for coming to the practice. Thank your body for carrying you. Thank yourself for your playfulness and exhale shavasana. Let everything go and melt into the mat. Tuck your shoulder blades in, palms facing the sky. Send your neck closer to the mat. Open your heart and just melt into the mat. Allow your feet to flop and just be, just breathe. Life can be all sorts of complicated, all sorts of crazy. You will find most pleasure and success in laughing at it. Find laughter in the darkest and lightest of moments. Take the moments of sunshine that you experience and sprinkle it on your dark days. Just learn to laugh at everything. When you fall, laugh. When you leave your phone not on silent in the middle of your yoga practice, laugh at yourself. to your favorite side or my favorite side is the right side because it's the side that gives you a break from your emotions and gives your heart more space this is your supported fetal position take a few breaths here and when you're ready push yourself up to a seat Come to a comfortable seat or thunderbolt, sit on top of your knees. Take a nice inhale through your nose and a big exhale through your mouth. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your stomach. We're gonna take a nice big inhale. Close your eyes. This time we're not gonna do the fast inhales and exhales. We're just gonna inhale all the sunshine through our body. We're going to release any stale energy through our mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. Deep inhales. Hold your breath and deep exhale through your mouth. One more time. Inhale through your nose. Hold your breath and exhale. Place your palms at your heart center. I want to thank you for joining me in the playful practice of this beautiful Friday. I want to thank the teachers behind me for flowing with me. It is an honor to lead you and guide you through playfulness and joy. Bring your palms to your ajna, your seat of intuition, or what we call our forehead. The light, the love, the student and teacher within me is but a reflection of the light, the love, the student and teacher in each and every one of you. I humbly bow to you in your path. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. I truly love you and miss you. And I hope you have a beautiful weekend ahead. See you Tuesday.